What is going on YouTube? Um, Avery 13 here. Today I'm going to review, of course, the McNeese Mac 2. Uh, I've had this knife now for about three weeks and I posted a video whenever I first got this knife in. I actually had another Mac 2 and I was kind of comparing some of the differences between this particular one and uh, the other one that I had at the time. And, you know, I, I was talking about some of the differences um, that were on this one. This one was kind of a special run. Uh, McNeese was doing some in-house milling and we're kind of testing some different uh, relief, you know, lock bar cutouts and some, some relief cuts, I think, on the internals. So I, I was more of, in that video, just kind of pointing out some of the differences there. At the time, I hadn't had my hands on it had enough hands-on experience to really give uh, my thoughts and observations on it. But now I have. Um, I, I've had this for, uh, like I said, about three weeks now, and I'm able to uh, offer a little more insight on it. And I'm going to start off and make very clear here that I do like this knife, okay? Uh, I do like it. It is a knife that I don't think I'll ever get rid of. Now, of course, things can always change, but I don't think I'll ever get rid of this knife. Um, it's very well balanced. I think the proportions of it are very well done. You know, sometimes knives have, I don't know, really weird proportions. And, it, you know, they might have a really big grip or a really skinny blade. This one's a very very well balanced uh, knife and it's very very well proportioned it's got good good height on the blade here it's got um, you know a good amount of thickness it's overall it's a very well well designed knife um, but I do think the execution and the the design could be a little better in a few areas um, and for any of you who have been shopping for uh, a Mac 2, there's one big uh, thing that you might better tell right off the bat about this um, that is different. And I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but first, I've, I've, I've had this thing for about three weeks now, but I haven't had it for about three weeks. Uh, I noticed right off the bat that this knife... Um, and, and like I said, sample size of, you know, two, and I didn't pay much attention to the actual grind on the other knife, but the grind on this one was, um, it was subpar. I'll just come out and say it was subpar. In fact, so much so that I immediately started shopping, um, for a sharpening service to be done on this blade. And... I sent it off and, you know, that whole process, by the time I sent it off and got it back, you know, that was probably a good 10 days where I didn't have the knife. Um, in fact, when the guy got it, you know, he messaged me, he said it pretty much had almost no defined bevels. It was almost like, you know, they, they put the blade out and then just knocked off the edge on this side, and knocked off the edge on this side, and it didn't really have a real well-defined um, bevel on either side. So as you see it now, I believe it's got 20 or 20, I believe it's around 20 or 22 degree, um, bevels on both sides. It's now, it's been, uh, tested on a, on a best, uh, machine. And I, I think it's at something like at 65. I, I don't know. I'm not all into the, you know, the terminology behind the the cutting that's almost a science and an art of itself you know when they get into the angles and and how sharp something is but needless to say suffice it to say now it has a very good and proper edge on it right so i get it back and two things after i got that you know after i got it back i started trying to carry it two things really became evident to me uh the very first thing was it was too drop shutty Okay, and I know that sounds crazy. You know, everybody talks about the action on the knife and it seems like drop shut is what everybody wants. Well, this one was so drop shutty and forgive me for making up that terminology, but it was almost like a finger guillotine. 
so the very first thing I did was started looking at some options to remedy that. And I did put in some skiff uh, fatty washers or fat washers. I think they're like 3 16th and a 1 16th on there. Um, but now this thing is so much smoother and it just, it, it's just so much smoother. I can still flick it open very well. You know, either way, that's not an issue. But now it's just so much smoother to, to drop clothes. Whereas before it was like almost a finger guillotine. Now it just smoothly drops closed. So I got that, you know, got that to my liking. Uh, kind of the next issue I run across was, and it's not an issue with the knife, but the pocket clip was... It was just, it's not good. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. It's not good on on the knife. Now, it looks good. Here's the pocket clip. Here's the one that it ships with. But two things about it just make it almost, in my opinion, not functional. Okay. Uh, the very first thing was, uh, you know, of course, this thing sits, it's going to sit about right here. Let's see if I can line those up. So this area here on this area here. Is very shallow whereas on this pocket clip you see it's a little bit taller so the very first thing I run into whenever I had this pocket clip on was whenever I tried to put this thing in my pocket you know the pant material would come up to here and then it would get stuck because the air the area here was so shallow and you can kind of even see that there you know just how shallow it is um, and so I had, had a really hard time getting it to really seat correctly on the pocket clip. And then the next issue that I run into with this pocket clip was, you can see it's a good bit shorter here, and I'll just try to line these up. It was putting a ton of pressure, whoops, my wrist just popped, a ton of pressure right there on that corner. And what would happen is, is whenever I would take it out of the pocket, it was just so much pressure right there on that corner, it was almost shredding my pants. So. I immediately started looking for a pocket clip. Now, let me tell you, this is the ZT MXG gear uh, ZT pocket clip. This is this is a game changer on this knife. If you have a Mac 2, put this pocket clip on it, okay? Uh, so much better than this. Um, guys from McNeese, if any of y'all just so happen to watch my video, don't spend money on these anymore. Please don't. Please don't. Put something like this on it. It is just literally a night and day difference. Um, the rest of the things, you know, the the action, the drop shuttiness, that's, you know, that's personal preference. Some people like finger guillotines, some people don't. For me, it was, like I said, it was, it was too drop closed, too drop shutty. Now I've got this thing just absolutely buttery smooth and it's to my liking. And now that's a personal preference, right? But like I said at the beginning of the video, I do like this knife, okay? I do plan on keeping this knife. It just needs a few tweaks. Uh, I'm not even sure if I would call it that. Really the only glaring thing that I think I would change about it is this dang pocket clip. That that's that that's got to be changed in my opinion. As far as the grind on this, that's easy. You know, they they can bring in a guy to sharpen them or just put a little bit better edge on them before they leave a shop. That's an easy fix. Um, the 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 bearings or the drop shuttiness. That's an you know that's a preference thing. Uh, but that pocket clip that's got to change in my opinion. Um, so I guess long story short, before I start rambling too much, and maybe I've already been rambling. Uh, too much already. I've had this knife now for three weeks and it has taken me almost that long for me to get it to where I want to or I can start carrying it you know before I had to wait on it to be sharpened. Uh, then I had to wait on uh, washers to come in and then I had to wait on a pocket clip to come in. So it's taken me three weeks to almost kind of get this thing um, to in a in a fashion that can be carried or in a condition that can be carried okay the design itself is fantastic the 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 
the profile is fantastic. Um, the lines, the balance, it's classy, it's clean, it looks good, it's great, it's high quality materials. Um, and this is not a, a knock at McNeese. They're, they've got a good product here that's in high demand. And I think this is just a, uh, maybe a byproduct of being popular and being in demand, right? I know they're trying to get a product out to the customer. Um, take a little time though, you know, to, to look at the edge a little bit more, uh, Consider a complete different pocket clip. That's an easy fix, you know, just wherever you're getting these, if you're milling these, if you're buying these, just get a different pocket clip. Those are those are trash, they're garbage. I'm sorry, they are. Uh, this is so much better. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I wanted to just offer my thoughts and opinions on this. You know, when you're spending four or five, six hundred dollars on a knife, um, it's, it's, these are things that I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to remedy myself, you know? Um, but this is a, as a, as a newer, um, I'm going to say newer company. Their product has really kind of taken off in the last, uh, year or two in popularity. And so I'm glad I have this, but I do think there's some, some growing pains, um, potentially that are, that are, you know, happening here. Um, like I said, this is not a knock at all. This is a quality product, guys. If you, this is something that is worth buying and it's worth having, okay. However, I do think that there are um, some things that you need to be aware of, you know. And at the end of the day, I'm making this video because I do like this product, and you know, I'm hoping that somebody sees some what are very simple things uh, that can be done to make it just a little bit better. And they're very simple, I think. Spend a little more time on the edge, change the pocket clip. Um, the bearing issue, I, I, I'm not gonna call it an issue, but I do think this knife, um, I really think it's better on washers, personally. I think it is so much smoother. Um, and just the, the action feels so much better on washers that's it guys um you know just had to put this out there want to give you my thoughts and opinions on it um any questions uh or comments please leave them down in the comments section uh thanks for watching guys please consider liking and subscribing take care